So what is gated imaging? Gated imaging is not something new. It was actually invented many years ago, but uh, we have a special way of doing gated imaging. So the gated imaging, and this is very similar to a LiDAR. Both are time of flight, uh, of flight systems, but in gated images, one major difference. A LiDAR measures the time and registers the time that the pulse is returned. In gated imaging, we predetermine the sampling range uh, without knowing if there is something there or not. So this is similar to other, but on the other hand, is also very uh, different. So like a LiDAR, we start with uh, illuminating, uh, generating a, a laser pulse. We are working at uh, the 800 nanometer regime, and now we later explain also why we decided to work in this unusual wavelength. We flood illuminate the whole scene, so we have no scanning parts, um, everything is illuminated uh, simultaneously. The pulse propagates until it hits or doesn't hit the target, but assuming that it hits a target, uh, we keep the camera closed during all that time, and therefore we do not see all the backscatter and the inter intermediate reflections that we get from the scene, and we uh, wait till the return pulse, which is usually much weaker, returns only at the precise time that is calculated to be the range that we want to sample, as I explained before, only then we open the sensor to get reflected light. Now, our images, and I'll show you some images later, are composed of hundreds of such cycles. In order to get one frame, we employ hundreds of such cycles to receive the image that we want. By altering the width of the pulses, we can also determine the width, the depth of field that we want to measure in the scene. Just an example to show you, so we generated here four uh, different pulses. Uh, the red represents the opening of the laser, the blue represents the uh, opening of the camera, and I varied the delay between the two, between the camera, and you see the color, so we, we can differentiate later on who is who. And what you get out of, uh, actually the, the mathematical operation here is the convolution, what you get out of it is something that we call a slice, a slice in range. So for instance, out of the blue slices, you will get only this blue triangle as the integration time. This is the integration time versus range. Out of it, the black, you'll get the black, and, and, and there you can also create a superposition out of those uh, slices. And the benefit of creating such a superposition is that you can get a uniform contrast. Uh, this is the range, the x-axis here, and the y-axis is that here, okay? And the y-axis is the contrast, so uh, we compare it. This is the gated imaging result, and we compare it to a normal illumination uh, that you get the 1 over R squared drop in intensity plus the atmospheric absorption. And we can compensate because I can always give more pulses of the yellow to compensate. And of course, uh, compared to a normal uh, vision system, there is some kind of threshold that below that you are not able to, to see anything anymore. What I try to explain actually, those triangles actually are those slices that I'm showing here that you see that you can create an image that it sees only between 20 to 50 meters or between 40 to 70 meters and so forth. 